I would like to present the basic network topology of an enterprise network. This network consisting of three locations. One is the data center. Data center. Another one is the New York branch. And another location is Chicago branch. All these three are connected with a frame relay. And all these three can able to communicate or ping or get the resources from the internet. Here, the network branch has development team and a testing team and the managers who operate those teams. In the same fashion, the Chicago branch has the testing team, the, the documentation team, and the deployment team, and the managers. This network is formed with the help of EIGRP routing protocol, protocol and uh, I have used the uh, access control list and the DHCP server to filter the network traffic. The VLAN 40 and the VLAN 35 cannot be able to ping the data center and the remaining uh, the managers and the remaining team members can able to ping the, the data center. And then, and, uh, on the internet, I have created three servers, the DNS server, and the mail server, and the web server. And I created a sample uh, website called uh, mycompany.com. And I configured that with uh, a DNS server. And I have created two mail accounts for the two managers. So they can able to send an email between them. And I also configured the IP font so that team members and the managers can able to communicate throughout between the branches and within the branch also. Uh, those are for those activities you can see in the later in this video. As I said, the configuration protocol is the EIGRP, and uh, in the in both the network, in the, both the branches have divided the network into VLANs, so that we can use the IP addresses effectively. Here, the uh, development team is belongs to VLAN thirty and all the iPhone, uh, IP phones are belongs to VLAN 10 that uh, I have used as a voice that you can see. Create a VLAN 10 to voice and the remaining to 30 and 42 for the data that used by the development team and the testing team. And I also create an access point uh, so that uh, the member of the team members and the other any members can have, have the free internet access. And all the IPs are assigning dynamically through the DHCP server. The IPs are dynamic. All the pools I have created for three plans, three pools, DHCP pools. Conferring for 40, 30, and a voice 2. Have given the default uh, router based on the VLAN.
uh, now we'll see how we can uh, send an email through email server between the two managers now I'm composing a manager to Chicago uh, to know the status of their project and uh, um, subject is to be project status Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anderson. What is the status of the project? Let's see how this is going to be here. Work through web server. And now I'm sending the message email to. Chicago manager. Here the status is success. Let's open the Chicago manager mailbox and uh, receive yes, we got C. So we have, we have received a mail from the New York manager, Jim. Well, let's uh, reply to him. Hi Anderson. Uh, hi Jim. Almost uh, we have completed the project. Let's see whether this reply is going to hit the New York Manager mailbox or not. Let's check the uh, Manager inbox, yes. See, almost. No? We received that one. Now to see the call conversion uh, between the between branches, let's uh, open the 2005. That's another branch uh, phone call. Uh, now I'm dialing, dialing uh, from testing team to testing other uh, testing team. 2005. Let's see the call. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's ringing. Then so let's pick up the dial. Yes, both are connected. Now we'll see how it's going to work with the web server. And I have created a web server in the internet uh, and I deployed my website, um, mycompany.com. Let's see here. This is my website of my company. See how this, uh, how I configured this one. Let's go to the internet and open the web server. And here is my HTML uh, corresponding to my website. And this is the access control list. Access control list. It is an order setter tool that you can use to filter the traffic. Here I have created the access list on data center. The, the permitting and the denying based on hosts and a network address. And uh, now the deployment team, that's what the development team and the managers and they can able to perform the operations on the data center but the testing team cannot do the same operations on data center let's see how this will work the development member trying to access the FTP server and the status is to be filed once again like yeah it's successful now Let's see how the testing member can do this one. Yes, it's going to be taking longer than uh, previous uh, thing. It's going to be failed. Let's see. Yeah, the transaction was failed. Now, in the same way, the Chicago branch 
the testing team cannot be able to perform the operations on data center but the deployment team can able to perform the operations and the managers can have the access to data center.